wrongfully. Recognition, a constant struggle, even as champion. He's been bitter over that. His only loss when he took a fight with current WBA champion and Southpaw, underline Southpaw, Sean Bay Mitchell on short notice in 95. He decked Mitchell 20 seconds in, and then he was stopped later in round one. Well, Bobby comes off the broken right hand, the long layoff. You think he should have taken a tune-up before judo, although mockingly he said, this is my tune-up. You know, I don't know, Steve. I really don't know if he's pushing himself, rushing himself. Only he knows if he's ready, rusty, or somewhere in between. But I know he's anxious to get that championship back. He wants it, he wants it badly. He seems to have all the answers at least verbally. He says everything's in place. Only letting his trainer really know exactly if he's full or not. Well, this is a, uh, a road St. Louis product. A home game for Brooklynite Sam Judah. So Teron Millet, who is uh, singing along to his own ring walk uh, music, not hearing it from the crowd, not getting the support at all, except for a few fans back there. But Zab Judah will hear it, that's for sure. Let's get it back to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to bring on Judah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce the defending champion, here is Bad Boys recording artist, Shine. Now tell me who wanna uh with us? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, I bang and let your brain tank snitches. Him all the maple misses with riches who carry 22s up in they hosiery. A black town of where my father hen and load and me think he just finished sniffing up uh, and dipping the D's. Don't hate me, hey Nicky Barnes. Hitting my mom, letting the condom pop. I was born in a coat boiling the pot. Shake the feds and brush shots at them street cops. What your point is? My point, double fours that your uh, George point is. Hollow point, 4.6. Need I say more, or do you get the point, Trick? What type of slang and bang in the streets? What type of saying the trunk for weeks? What type of fly Bentley coops? Aim for the cop the, uh-huh, mix dragging on the floor. Banging on your arm, uh, second the Christ side, just examine it for floor. Pour the crystal on the way to trial. We go low, gotta play your head hurting till they pull the curtain. Let the money drip dry. Hundred dollar bills, wipe the tears from my eyes. No love, screw these cowards. Hope you die slow death as I coke test. See the lower sucker protest. Can't mess with these rap cats with their gay raps. Running around talking this and talking that. In the streets tried to give me that. Cheer, live from Brooklyn, Vietnam, Super Zab Judah, uh-huh, Zab Judah, Gia, uh, Zab Judah, uh, Gia, Zab Judah, uh-huh, Gia, Zab, Zab, Zab Judah, uh-huh, what type of stay in the trunk for weeks, what type of fly Bentley coops, aim for your copter, uh-huh, bling, bling, it's a bad boy thing, bullet seats, Street sweeping for the evil grin. Watch you die. One love, one light, one shine. Y'all ain't saying nothing like a mom. Heavy line. I live without writing with a pencil. Playing style, leg poison if they bite it. Hate it, but recite it. It's a G thing. Me and Puppy St. Bart said it all. Punnies walking top of with G strength. So top, such a crew. I'm number charge. Has the gold stream fly through the fog. Make it popular. Pockets filled with more high notes than the upper rope. Franklin's on top of the Jacksons. Tie, leave you tie. Respect to the die, coward. What type of slang and bang in the streets? What type of stay in the trunk for weeks? What type of fly bang in the coops? Aim for your cop the, uh-huh, cheer. What type of slang and bang in the streets? What type of stay in the trunk for weeks? What type of fly bang in the coops? Aim for your cop the,
small and make for misses with riches who carry 22s up in they hosiery. A black teller when my father can and load and me think he just finished sniffing up and dipping the things. Don't hate me, hate Nicky Barnes. Hitting my mom, letting the car the pot. I was born in a Zab Judah milking it. Uh -huh. With the theatrical entrance, that would be the understatement of the century. How come you never did that? No, oh, it's Steve. We're probably taking right out of my game plan. Yeah. Well, as a fighter, he's skillful, strong, dynamic, has it all going, unlimited future. But with that, the high expectations, are they inflated? In all due respect, we remember Mark Freeland, or if I can borrow a famous nickname, is he the real deal? His last opponent, a dancer, a runner, awkward, hard to hit cleanly. Will it be a welcome relief, Bobby, or a tougher challenge against a fighter like Millet, who, who's going to stand and mix it up and throw bombs? In some ways, it's going to be a relief, and in other ways, it's going to be a whole lot of extra challenge. You don't have to look for Millet, but Millet also brings much more power. It's much more dangerous than Witter ever was. Any major mistake by Zab Judah tonight would cost him his title with Witter. That wasn't in the picture. This is a much more dangerous opponent for Zab Judah and also for both of these fighters. It's a proving ground. All right, let's take you to the tail of the tape. Judah, a decade younger than Millette. The height is all even, but Judah with an unusually uh, long reach. Five inch reach advantage with those long arms at yesterday's weigh in both below the 140 limit fight time weights judah a plus two 140 will 146 a plus six and a half key rules for this title fight no standing eight count no three knockdown rule a fighter cannot be saved by the bell any round if an accidental headbutt occurs before the end of the fourth it's a no contest after the end of four we go to the scorecard so here at the Uncas Pavilion, they'll have to clear out the smoke as we get ready for our main event, the IBF Junior Welterweight title, Zab Judah, Teron Millette, the official introductions from our ring announcer, the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mohegan Sun Casino in Uncasville, Connecticut, for the featured bout of the evening brought to you by main events. Showtime Championship Boxing and Mohegan Sun Casino sponsored by Schlesinger Associates and StudioJ1.com Exceptional gifts for extraordinary people. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation President Hiawatha Knight Supervisor Mahasan Scott along with the Mohegan Tribal Gaming Commission Unit Chief Jerry Boyle. Judging at ringside from New Britain, Connecticut, Stephen Epstein from Avon, Connecticut, Glenn Feldman from Chicago, Illinois, Mike. It's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing a black trunks and joining us from St. Louis, Missouri. He weighed in at a ready 139 and one half pounds. With a record of 22 wins, one loss and one draw, he has 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the number one contender and the former IBF junior welterweight champion of the world, introducing the Tehran Tramp Millet. across the ring on my right the defending champion fighting out of the red corner wearing silver trunks with black trim fighting out of his home brooklyn new york he weighed in at a trim and ready 138 pounds he is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 23 wins no losses one no contest and 17 wins coming by way of knockout here is the ibf junior welterweight champion of the world Once again, a referee in charge now to give instructions, Michael Ortega. I think Zab's got the whole burrow here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right here. Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. On a good clean fight, 
Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Seconds, look at the trunks here. Here up is good. Chief seconds. Think from here up is good. Okay? Touch them up. It looks above you. Michael Ortega, the son of former runaway great Gaspar Ortega for Carmen Basilio, Emil Griffith, Kid Gavilan. Zab Judah. The sharp southpaw with the heavy hands, the strong left and the big right uppercut. Keep an eye on that one. Taran Millette, a very good athlete, aggressive brawler. Terrific hand speed, power in both hands. And he looks for the bomb. Here we go. Those two rounds be very important, Steve, of who can set the tone to implement their style. Judah in the silver trunks, Millette in the black. Millette realizes, of course, Judah has the quick hands and the nice uppercuts, but he says he will adjust to what the southpaw brings. Judah, as mentioned, said, I look at this as my first world title fight. After the fight, I'll be able to say I beat a world champion. Approaches the fight with the idea he's the matador, Millet's the bull. He's the elusive one. It's strength versus technique. Well, you can be pretty sure Millet's going to be coming for him. That's something Millet loves to do. Yeah, he knows Millet is coming into swing, that Millet is strong, a bomber. But he doesn't feel that Millet is as skillful a technician as he is. It's already evident to me that Millet's going to need to make some adjustments regarding the speed. Speed right now, big factor. It's going to be a big problem for Millet. He's going to have to do something, maybe around the body. And Millet never really let answered let us let about let the let current let status of his injured right hand, but showed us a knot on the top of the hand, said he still had a screw in the hand. You know, I had a similar injury, but what I had was a bone fusion. He had his bones screwed together. Millet just got wobbled momentarily. Millet just pawing away. Missing with the left uppercut. Judah quickly in and out. Judah just looks too fast for Millet. Speed is the big factor right here. Speed versus break. strength. Oh, no, break. Oh. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, listen up on the break. You hit him on the break. Okay, listen up. No hitting on the break to Teron Millet from Michael Ortega out of Hamburg, Connecticut. Judah wheeling away. Lefts and rights to the head of Millet. Millet. How do you score that run? You know what? Zeb wins most of the rounds so he gets knocked down. So you could call it 9-8 or 10-9 for Millet. Millet still wins the round because he's knocked down. Some of the judges might have a 10-8. It's, it's, it's a one-point round or a two-point round. That is very discretionary with the judges. Judah looks to be a little more cautious, as you might understand right now. He knows he just can't stand in front of this guy with the heavy hands. Millet. 
Millett highly motivated, as is Judah. Millett looking to win back, recapture his old title that he was stripped of. In his fight against John Bergman, he got a little careless. Coming in this fight, he got a little too excited, a little too anxious. Not much of a difference in what he did with his hands. has come down, his chin hanging out. And you really have to wonder, what did victories over Jan Bergman and Junior Woodard really mean? Teron Millett just feels that Judah has not fought the good fighters to get to where he is, and that he has. No, so he's so trying to prove a point. Steve, I can look in the eyes of both of these fighters. Right now, Millett doesn't have the same look he had when he started, and he dropped the champion. His look is not the same as it was when he started, and Judas is back to where he started. Maybe Millett in somewhat disbelief that he did what he did in that first round. Yeah, but I think the disbelief not was, wasn't a knockdown. The disbelief was the fact that he got hurt so often by Judas that he hasn't adjusted to that speed as quick as he thought he could. Under a minute remaining in round two. Action packed. Straight left hand by Judah. And down goes Bullock. A flash knockdown up in a second. Six, seven, eight. You all right? Bullock down for only the second time in his career. The first in 1995 to another southpaw named Sean Bay Mitchell. Straight left hand right down the middle. What a beautiful punch it was. Judah is now trying to finish him off. Another straight left by Judah. Ron Millet is not moving his head. He's got to move his head. He's going to survive this round. Millet in all kinds of trouble. The referee looking closely. But Millet with a powerful right out of nowhere. Back comes Judah with the two legs. Steve, this fight is going to be a knockout. One way or the other. What a war. Ah. Southpaw side, jab, left hand, right down the middle. And Millett never even really acknowledged that he sees it. He just walks right into it. Bang! One of the more clean, clean knockdowns you'll ever witness. Judah following up, and the two of them just flailing away, turning this into a good old Donny Brook. He said you're sitting right there. You're not moving your head or your feet. Get out of the way. Step to the side. You're just waiting on him. And he knows where you're going to be. This fight certainly delivering on its promise to this point. Judah down to the first round. Millet down to the second. Chatting for 
by Judah.
continue. But well, let's back was to us, so we couldn't see what he was saying or hear what he was saying. But we'll have to take Ortega's judgment for it. Ortega might have just seen something in his eyes because I saw that he was still stunned, still hurt. But I'll tell you. Tough really? I think it was uh, academic. I thought it was a good stop. Because I thought that he looked like a rag doll. And that he was going to continue to be punished by this man. I think it was inevitable. But I can understand as a former fighter, your mentality, where you come from, you know, the guy's still up, he's still doing it. He wants to continue fighting, but in this case, maybe, like you say, he saw something in Millette's eyes, his face. Millette didn't respond, and there was no way he was going to let the kid get hurt. Well, I can't agree with that stoppage, regardless of how it's perceived. The referee needs to at least see him absorb some punishment. The, the punch that was evidently the knockdown punch, I don't even think land. I think he just whizzed past as he was on his way to the floor from his own momentum, Steve, of missing a punch against Zab. Well, there's no question that Judah was in total.